away for a little staycation. Travel obviously isn't really happening at the moment. Um, I would love for it to be abroad, but not yet, not yet. So we have come away. Well, actually tonight, it wasn't necessarily the plan to come away this evening, but, oh, that's a long way down. We've just arrived in the hotel and can get down off that bed. Go, go on. Stephen's got your bum. Ooh, made it. <laughs> Yay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Lara has gone back very excitingly as well. Lara has gone back to London for the first time since, when will it have been like, I don't know, 12th of March, 2020. And it's, what's it today, like the 4th of, 6th of June, 2021. She hasn't been down to work at all. Down into the office, she's worked at home. First time, I've just dropped her off at the train station. Um, and she is going down. She's only going in to work for one day, but it's exciting. It's some sort of back to normality. And while I thought, just we'll, whilst I'm taking her to the station, we'd head up to where we're going. We're staying in a caravan for a week, well, five days, me, Stephen, and the two kids. Uh, but tonight, we are just staying in a hotel on the way. Um, we've literally just checked in and got here. Don't know what we're doing. It's quarter past five. I don't know whether we're gonna go to the restaurant and get tea or what we're, what the plan is. Don't know, but tomorrow I do have a little bit of a plan no. to go and see no. um, and visit like the, the uh, I think it's Nederhead or Ned, Nedder, let me look. Oh, no, it wasn't Nederhead, nothing like that. It was, it's Nidderdale, which is an area of the Yorkshire Dales. It's the east of the Yorkshire Dales. Do you want to go back up there? Which I jump you up. Ready? One, two, three, jump up. Did it. Um, yeah, so I've marked on my Google Maps a few little, you can't see that, a few little places that I want to go and see in, in and around Nidderdale. No. <laughs> 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 come here. <laughs> so me and Stephen have been chatting and we think that we're going to have a little look. We're tempted to go for a meal, but we're going to see what takeaways they have around here first. Let's have a look. We've decided on, even though it's really quite nice outside, we've decided on a takeaway and stay in the room because let me show you what I have bought. Check out the ceiling. I got one of these nebula um, projectors. I haven't used it yet, but maybe we might like watch a movie or something tonight. Oh, it came off. Did you connect or something? Oh, did it connect? No, did you connect? <laughs> yeah, I thought we were going to be bigger, to be honest. I think we're having trouble connecting the uh, the nebula up to the Wi-Fi and get it to work. Um, but our takeaway has just come. We've got Pete. Ooh. Let's have a look at my... Oh, it looks a bit... Um, What's the word? I'm um, not anemic. Um, what's the word? I think it's like white. Anemic. Hey, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have just come out for a little bit of a morning walk. Just basic, well, some fresh air, really, because we were in that hotel room. And it's like, I don't know, what what was it? Cross five or something last night? So, nice to just get out and have a bit of fresh air. We've come to this. It's just right by our hotel. It's a lovely little place. Uh, what's it called? Tarnfield Park, it's called. And it's got a nice bit of water in the middle and actually just over there. So, water's there just there is uh, Leeds Bradford Airport and that's the runway. In normal times we'd be able to see planes just like coming in there. What a cool little place to uh, plane watch. So yeah just a bit of fresh air before breakfast. We've got our breakfast booked for half eight so figured we'd just get out 
for a little bit. I'm just at the far end of the park now and that bit there is the runway. It would be nice to see some planes land or take off but obviously current situation means that's not really happening so the likelihood of seeing one is pretty slim. It's a nice little picnic area, benches, lots of people are fishing with their tents. We've had our breakfast, I'm absolutely stuffed, I think everyone else is as well and we're just in the car, Stephen is putting in the sat nav our first destination. We're going to, like I said, into the Yorkshire Dales, we're going to the Coldstones Cut is our first stop. We look under them. We do, we're going underneath. Mm, it could be. Yeah. That's Whoa. At our first stop, the Coldstones Cut, which I'm not 100% sure. Oh, bless, the kids are walking, holding hands. Um, not 100% sure what it is. The internet calls it a massive construction that you can freely walk around. Oh, wrong way. Stick on this path. And it's got like amazing views, apparently, for over Nidderdale. So, look, no, this way. <laughs> Kids just keep falling over. Jump up and walk on this path. Let go and stand up. <laughs> what? Why are you trying to go in? <laughs> They're trying to go. There's a path, obviously. The kids are trying to like walk down. Stay on the path. Oh, I reckon. Maybe up there. Oh, look, there's like a big bike thing. Oh, Toft Gate. Lime kiln this way, and the cold stones cut. That's the word. Cold stones cut was a contemporary public art in a magnificent environment. We're halfway up. There's this little thing of rocks, and Stephen sat on one. You can't see because his bum's there, but it says discover. And then what does this one say? Long views, wonder. What's this one? Remember, rest. Ah, oh, I'm gonna wonder. I'm gonna sit on this one and wonder about things. Wonder where my life went wrong. We're nearly up to the top. Come on. Takes a long time with these children <laughs> to get up this hill. I guess it is a massive hill in terms of how big they are. <laughs> Whoa, Stephen's running. Did you run? We made it to the top. Here we are, going through. What is this in the middle? I don't know. I'm going up it though. And, uh, missed you today, so we might not have wonderful views. What we're going to see? Oh, whoa! No, look at this! Whoa! Oh my goodness! I wasn't expecting that. I, I don't know. I don't really know what I was expecting. Wow! No, I've never seen an active quarry. I'm pretty sure, like. The scale, like the vastness of this is not showing on camera. Oh my goodness. It's huge. Waking up in my bed, just stuck in my head. I'm not even hungover. I want to call your phone, tell you what you did wrong. I'm going to go through here. Come on, let's go through the X. It's not windy in here, is it? 421 metres above sea level. Oh, yeah. What a baby. Blackpool. 
well, I would say this place is definitely worth a visit. Amazing views. I'm really interested in seeing that quarry. Now we've got to get all the way back down, find the car. Well, I really like that place. Thoughts? Yeah, I like it. It was good. It was, it was a surprise. It was good. Um, next, well, it wasn't a surprise it was good, but it was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, next stop, somewhere not very far away, Brimstone Rocks. It's a National Trust place, but like just a, like you don't pay to get in or anything. It's just there. Brimstone Rocks. I don't think it's far. Maybe. In fact, it just said on that thing, didn't it? How far away it was? Like 13 kilometres. Yeah. It is 6.2 miles. We are here. It's a natural spectacle. I thought it was like built. Where are we? Sneak peek. This looks quite interesting. You see? See there? These rocks? We're going on a toilet run first. Looks cool, right? Whoa! Look at this. Come see, Stephen. I doubt the toilet's this one. Well, no, it's dead this way, didn't it? It's crazy, there's just these huge rock formations everywhere. Right, Stephen is suggesting here for a picnic spot. We're getting up. Whoa! It looks like you're in a cave. What are you doing up there? You up high? This is the view from our picnic spot. How crazy are the rocks? Well, Stephen's got down from the picnic spot now and going for a explore, going higher. Stephen's off seeing if he can get up that one. See in there? Spot the Stephen. Did you find him? He's up there. Easy! Okay, none of that hole is going to be slippery now. You made it look easy. He's off, where's he going? Which one? That one! Whoa. No, I think you might just slip all the way down if you tried. I have not got the right footwear on for this trip. Where are you trying to think of to go? <laughs> I'm giving it a go, seeing how far we can get. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe I'll put the camera down. <laughs> Did you get up this way? I can't get up that way. Okay, new pathway. See if I can get up here. Oh! Okay, shoes off. I don't know how I'm going to get down. I don't think I'll be able to get down. That's my problem. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I will. Come on, right, I'm going to do it. If you get up, you can get down. Mm. So, uh, Not really true. <laughs> it's just so out. Whoa! Yes! Whoa! Oh, yes! Did it! <laughs> made it under the top Whoa. it's windy up here it's a long way down as well Yes. Well, we're 
spent a good amount of time here, maybe like two hours or so, and we're gonna head off. We're gonna drive up to the caravan now because the day has just run away with us. I've found some really good things to do in Nidda. Nidda Dale, Nidda Head, Nidda Dale. I think it's Dale. It must be Dale because it's like Yorkshire Dale, so yeah, Dale. But yeah, we're gonna go now, drive. It's about an hour and a half's drive to the caravan. We love this place though, Brim and Rocks. National Trust place, if you're a National Trust member, like we are, it's free parking, if not six pound, I think it was. But Stephen was just saying, like, definitely come again. I reckon you could probably spend all day here, to be honest. You bring a picnic and just, like, muck around on some rocks, and then you picnic and go and find a different rock formation to muck around on. Poor Stephen is pushing this buggy, double buggy, up this bit of a hill. Um, yeah, great place. Like, I can say, like, nice sunny weekends, it'll be rammed. Some holidays and stuff. Like. Yeah. Stephen's having one last climb. So, in summary, if you're in the Nidderdale area, head here, Brimstone, Brimstone, no, Brimham, Brimham Rocks. I can never remember the plate names of places. Brimham Rocks, it's pretty, pretty good. Little, I say family day out, but it's not necessarily family day out. Anyway, we're going to head in the car, drive to the caravan, and I'm going to vlog that separately. So I'll uh, see you in the next vlog for our week in the caravan.